Greetings and thanks for watching this little bit of educational video about study.com. My name is Dr. Jeanette DeWitt. I am a chronic pain specialist and doctor of physical therapy, but I am most importantly, I believe, a homeschool mom. Now, our situation is a little bit unique because when COVID happened, we could not send our kids back to school the following school year because I am in the healthcare field and my husband at the time was also in the healthcare field and we couldn't afford to have our kids exposed at school and then have to shut down our practices every couple of weeks. So we chose to homeschool. We did that and there was a little bit of a learning curve. We actually chose a different curriculum than study.com. And we at first thought the learning curve was kind of our unique situation of adjusting. And we decided that the second year of homeschooling, we would stick with the same curriculum, but things absolutely got worse as far as that program actually just didn't fit for our busy lifestyle, as well as for um, the rigidity of that particular program. So in the spring of this year, I started to look at alternatives that would give us a little bit more freedom and flexibility to choose the courses that we want to choose instead of being locked in to the same courses based on the grade year. Meaning in the previous program for sixth grade, every sixth grader would take those classes. And for eighth grade, every eighth grader would take those classes. We couldn't really choose what classes we wanted to take. In addition, it was just taking too long of a school day. We literally started our school day at 8 a.m. and finished at 5 p.m. with two short breaks and lunch for an hour. And we just were struggling with keeping up with the content because there were so many projects that would pull us away from the assignments. So we decided after trying to not pull our hair out <laughs> and also getting just frustrated, lots of tears and crying, hating learning and wishing to go back to regular school, we decided to look for something else and study.com became the answer. So that's what I want to show you of why it is so easy to use study.com as a full homeschool curriculum. My husband and I both work, so we are able to do this homeschooling thing with our kids because study.com makes it so much easier. We've only been doing it for about three or four weeks. We kind of had a soft start to our year, but because study.com is so much easier, like I am not even stressing about when we start all the classes within the next week or two. This is the dashboard or excuse me, this is the homepage. Once you have paid for an account, then you will be able to access the family dashboard. And for us, we have two students. One, our oldest is going to be in eighth grade. Our youngest is going to be in sixth grade. What I love about this dashboard and why my life is so much easier is because this shows me my recent activity. These were the classes and courses that I was looking at to enroll my student in. If I come down, study.com actually shows me recommended courses based on their age of middle school. So both my kids are in middle school. One is going into eighth grade. One is going into sixth grade. So you can see I am right now on Lydia, who's going into eighth grade. And I can scroll down and she's currently enrolled in math and I will most likely be enrolling her in the study.com recommended homeschool curriculum for eighth grade. But if I didn't want to do that, I can actually go to view all courses or let's just say I wanted to look at a different science class and that could be um, astronomy because she has expressed interest in that. So if I looked up astronomy, instead of her taking the eighth grade homeschool curriculum science class, I could actually enroll her in astronomy 101. Now I will say this, study.com has the ability to work towards a degree. So when I see a class that says 101, it makes me think that 
this is a college class. And if I read the description of this, the short description, it is a three semester hour class that can be transferred to over 2000 colleges and universities. So this is a college class. I actually am not going to enroll my oldest eighth grader into the college accelerator with study.com this year. I want her to get used to the study.com regular program first and become very familiar with how study.com works because it is a new curriculum for us. However, based on the first three to four weeks, there's really not much of a learning curve that needs to happen here. It's very, very straightforward. Having said that, because we are choosing not to put her in the college accelerator, I will not allow her to take the astronomy 101 this year, but I will next year when she is taking the college accelerator program so that she can get college credit. Now, I know that based on other reviews that other students are working towards college classes as early as 13 years old, that is fine. That's just a choice that we are not making for our family at this time. Now, one thing that's really cool about the dashboard is not only does it show you all the, the classes that I've looked at and will most likely be enrolling her in, not only does it show you what is the recommended courses for the homeschool curriculum, it also shows you the middle school courses that are available. And you can see all the different types of middle school classes available. And it just keeps going and going and going because there are so many classes available that you can choose from. You're basically the principal of your homeschool. So you get to pick the curriculum. This is a fabulous option for us because we did not have this option the previous two years. So I am ecstatic about being able to choose classes and put them into a curriculum that we want to have and not be locked in to a curriculum and a rigid program. Now, one of the other benefits of the dashboard is the grade book. So since we're talking about my eighth grader, I'll stick with her. And we have her in the physical education. That meets our health requirement for the state of Wisconsin. Every state homeschool program is has its own requirement. Requirements. So you need to check your own state, but we are using that as her health class. She's on track with finishing 20% of it so far. She's at chapter three and she last viewed that today because it's August 15th. So we can go down to the homeschool curriculum for math. She's on track with that. She's finished 24% of it. And we are doing the Spanish it's a very beginning Spanish that's intended for teachers, but we are using it for our Spanish foreign language requirement. So she is 11% into that. Now, one thing that's really cool is you can determine on your calendar when you enroll in the class, you can determine when you want your student to be finished with that class. So we set this up that she's going to finish Spanish in May, of, May 19th of next year. She's going to finish math at the beginning of May, and she's going to finish her health requirement at the beginning of May. Now, let me go ahead and take a look at my youngest who is in sixth grade. The reason I want to show you this is because I was in this earlier and I saw that she was behind schedule. So I want to show you that study.com does a great job of informing parents when their student is a little bit behind. She is on track for her other two classes, but this tells me that when I get home from work, I need to go ahead and just check in with her, ask if there's a question that she has, if she's struggling with something, and just make sure that we get on track and stay on track for this week. So that is my little brief scenario of the study.com parent family dashboard. I hope that you find that helpful. If you do, go ahead and look in the link in the description below, and you'll see a link where you can get 30% off of your first three months. I hope you find this helpful and leave some comments. I wish you the best. Thanks a lot.